Welcome back everyone. Lake Pleasant is the lowest it's been in a decade. That's causing a lot of concern for law enforcement mm -hmm. agencies as they get ready for a hotter than average weekend with plenty of people wanting to hit the water. Well, Kim is one busy lady. She's been out at the lake looking into why it's so low and also the dangers. That's right. So Lake Pleasant is basically a big reservoir that supplies central and southern Arizona with water. This summer, more water than normal was released from the lake to meet demands, and that has exposed a lot of hazards that threaten visitors who aren't ready for them. This is probably the lowest this lake has been since about early 2000s. In recent weeks, massive branches and large islands have been uncovered at Lake Pleasant. It's been hard to keep up. We've been a lot busier than normal with the boat accidents themselves. Where the water meets land now lies sharp and rigid terrain. We have the island or the peninsula that's come out and it's come out on both sides. MCSO Lake Patrol Deputy Ryan Imming says visitors are getting caught off guard. Watercrafts are getting damaged and campers are getting their cars stuck. It's a lot of exposed shoreline out there. People want to get down as close to the water as they possibly can, but they don't realize how steep it is, how soft the sides are. When Lake Pleasant is full, its elevation is at 1,700 feet. Today, it's around 1,635 feet. We utilize Lake Pleasant as our online storage reservoir. Levels fluctuate yearly because the Central Arizona Project uses Lake Pleasant to supply multiple counties across the state with water. In the winter months, we pump water into the lake when power is low and our water use is low. And then in the summer, we make releases when our water demands are high and power prices are high and we can generate some electricity. We've dropped about 15 feet lower than normal. According to Darren Frankham, Director of Operations, Power and Engineering, this summer more water was pumped out of Lake Pleasant because of a problem with the quality of water at another source, Lake Havasu, and because of an electrical transmission project on a pumping plant where part of the system needed to be shut down. Frankham says lake levels won't come back up until early October. Park staff at Lake Pleasant go out every day to move hazard markers, but MCSO is urging people to take their boats slow and launch from ramps instead of the shoreline.